Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You are with us for another episode of Trigger Warning. I've got Gary Russell and Sammy Chan with me. Hello, hello. Good evening, Janine. Good morning, Sammy. (laughs) So, as usual, always something that's a hot topic that's happening and current in the news cycle. Recently in a podcast episode, we actually spoke about Pepe coins. Sammy and I had a great conversation about Pepe coin and just the rise of meme coins and how that whole whole thing works. And now recently in the news, I know in the past 10 days from about May the 23rd, May the 24th, as of this recording, there were 24 rug pulls on meme coins that had actually piggybacked on the success of the Pepe coin. So we wanted to talk about that because that is quite a current topic and it's very easy to fall for the whole meme coin fad or meme coin movement that is happening right now. So I wanted to come to you first, Sammy, give us your wisdom. Okay. So Pepe coin is going crazy. It's going up, it's going down. And they're like, hey, people have an appetite to invest again. So then they're like, well, people, one of the most common search terms right now is what is the next Pepe coin, right? So now people with evil intentions, nefarious intentions, are trying to take their money out of your wallet or your bank account and put it in theirs without really doing work is they said, let's create some meme coins. Right. So this meme coin mania is going crazy. Right. People are hopping on things. They're following Twitter. They're looking at all these different symbols for coins that have potential. They could even reverse engineer a slick looking website, put a white paper together. But the fact of the matter is 24 fake meme coins pulled the rug out so that people who are holding the token are not able to sell that token for any value or any salvageable value, and they run off with the money, okay? This is what happened. Um, they, their full intention was to trick you, trick the investors, and take the money. And it can happen all the time. It can happen even in the, the traditional world. They could fake their numbers. They could you know, go around some regulators. They could pay influencers, right? They could pay celebrities like Tom Brady and his wife and all these other people. And, you know, pretty much Tyler Swift is the only one who is smart enough to say no. And eventually you pull the rug rug out from under people. And it happened in a much more rapid pace because it was like there was this mania. They were riding the wave. Yeah. Right. Well, if you ride a wave, do you ride one, one wave from Japan? until California? Is that how waves work? No. At some point, the wave is going to end. And if you don't know when, and you don't know when to get off, a lot of people are left holding the bag. Mm -hmm. And so this happened, 24 of them defrauded a lot of people, probably millions and millions of dollars taken out of people's bank accounts and crypto trading accounts. And the founders, probably anonymous, fake names, can go into hiding, spend the money, and when that money's gone, they're gonna come back and start another one. Hmm. And you're not and how are you gonna know the difference between a real coin or a real altcoin and a fake one? And or you just gotta decide, hey, you know, what? I'm gonna put two hundred bucks on this thing, see where it goes. Now, if you got your profit or four hundred dollars or eight hundred dollars. And you pulled your money out and then you left the rest in there. That's not such a bad thing. But if you didn't take anything out and you're like using statements like let it ride. right? Well, you know what? Let it ride is a casino game with very low odds of you winning. So so that's really where things are with it. Um, It's going to happen again. It's going to continue to happen again. And you'll hear statements like D-Y-O-R. Do your own research, do your own research, do your own research. But the problem is, is that a lot of people are emotionally fueled, Mm -hmm. trying to catch, they missed out on Pepe coin. So because Uh of that feeling of FOMO inside of them, they're trying to make it up on something else. 
Or they got in on Pepe coin at the all time high and it dropped 50% in 24 hours. And now they're trying to catch, you know, make their losses up somewhere else. If I'm saying these things and you're like, oh yeah, I did that before. Oh yeah, I did that before. I'll admit I did that too. But you have to understand where your emotion is. And then does your lo does logic or wisdom support what you want to do emotionally? And build some strong guidelines or rules in for yourself. Hmm. But yeah, I mean, look, a lot of people got defrauded. People are going to continue to get defrauded. And it's a part of the industry. Yeah. It's a tale as old as time, though. I'm, I'm before crypto, I'm sure, Gary, you can weigh in on this. Um, in all industries, uh -huh. people want to get on the latest trend. They want to make it rich quick. You know, get on the latest rich, quick, get rich e quick scheme, Ponzi scheme, whatever it is. So give us some, share some of your wisdom in, in this whole mania. Well, I do have a system that I use for meme coins. So let's say, okay, so I'm in, uh, uh, on that article, there's some pictures on the front. I I'm in, I'm in Doge and Shiba because of my son and son a lot. They were in them. I'm like, cool. We'll be something to talk about. We'll do it. Right. So I threw 500 bucks in each. If it doubles to a thousand to where my original investment can be there, I pull my 500 bucks out. Now it's a hundred percent house money. Now I would just, whatever, it goes up, it goes down, it's here, it goes to zero. I don't care. It's it's all house money. So I put my money in, I got my money, I got my money out, which actually when I did that with Doge, <laughs> it actually cost me a little bit of money because I pulled out right as it was going up. <laughs> but I was like, but it's still the it's still the safer for me. And so now I hardly ever check those. As I'm talking to my son, or son-in-law about, oh yeah, I still got 40 million of this or, or just whatever. So if if, if I'm looking at something, that could be a rug pull in crypto or in real life, or it sounds too good to be true. Uh, you know, I always ask myself, uh, why does this thing need me? Like if this opportunity is so phenomenal, it doesn't need me. If this opportunity is so phenomenal, it shouldn't exist for me. It should have probably already been gone. It should have been gone to somebody else. Like so when people are bringing me stuff and they're like, you can make a kajillion dollar return. Well, if it pays that well, it would have never got to my desk in the first place. So, but at the same, but at the same time, there's that what if factor. And so if I have a, if, if I have a number in my head that I, well, that's fine. That comes out of my play jar. I don't care if I lose it or not. And then if it can, if it can double and I can pull it back or uh, if it hits any profit at all, if I put in 500 and got to 800, I'm like, I'm good letting 300 ride and I get my 500 back. That's house money. So in, in theory, it's my money but it was earned money from the coin. And I don't honestly know wh where those coins are at right now. Cause I haven't checked that in a while on what those are. And it, it can just, it can just ride forever. But what it, but what it will prevent me from doing is uh, borrowing money or doing poor choices with money or taking rent money, mortgage money or bread money or shoe money or college tuition money and stuff I shouldn't do. Uh, and then gamble it knowing that it's going to be the end all be all for the future. And then it goes the wrong way. So, uh, you know, if a coin has utility, it's going to be around for a while. If it doesn't, it's just going to be a meme. You sure you can make some money with meme coins. Uh, you sure you can lose all your money with meme coins. You know, it's just, a, it's just, a, I, I would say, honestly, try and get as close to Elon Musk mindset as you can try and get as close to a be indifferent to it. And don't and and don't have it be a game changer that changes your world on anything. Real estate, the same, you know, uh, financial opportunities, fiat currency opportunities, gold, precious metals opportunities, all anything that sounds uh, too good to be true, probably is. So so let's do let's dig a little bit more and find out what's going on. I love the fact that we can we can pull from time tested financial principles you know that have withstood the test of time it's not just crypto financial principles oh. it's really principles like you said that it spans 
across multiple industries um, and it's just something that we can apply to crypto too so as sammy said do your own research and make sure yes. that, that you know your level of i know these you've mentioned this before sammy your level of comfortability and and how much you're willing to lose so it comes i think we're going to keep we're going to keep saying this in many episodes um do your own research make sure you can afford to lose it i think it comes back to the same principles um but in the end i think our heart is to help you that you don't lose it all and we want to we want people to increase their financial future oh, absolutely without having all the heartache that goes with the losses right yes we do <laughs> So if you're interested in finding out more about Xtoken, please go and visit our website at xtoken.com. You know that part of our offer is financial training. Um, as you can see, we uh -huh. really pull from, from Gary and Sammy's wisdom and some of the hard lessons that they have learned within the industries that they have been in. Um, and it stands the test of time, really really great financial principles so thanks for sharing your wisdom sammy and gary appreciate you appreciate you guys thank you <laughs> have a great day further thanks for watching and we hope to see you on the next episode of trigger warning bye for now bye, guys. bye.